what's up youtube so we're going to make a small pause on the 40 net videos for now because i want to cover the installation process for checkpoint new version r81.20 that became um, a stable release since november last year uh so 2022 and we're going to walk through the installation process uh for in the environment and on the following videos we're going to see how to upgrade uh, an existing environment to r81.20 as we're going to perform a clean installation we should look at the requirements uh, to install on the open server so we're not going to look at the upgrade process in this moment so we can take a look at the requirements for open server hardware so it still doesn't require much you you can have uh two cpus and 80 gig of ram for the management server and for the gateway two cpus and four gig of ram that's uh the minimum hardware requirement as my hardware meets the requirements we're going to begin the installation process so the first thing to do is to download the iso file i'm going to leave the link to download the file on the video description uh, I already downloaded it, so I'm going to perform a new installation on VMware Workstation and I'm going to walk you through the process. So after creating the VMware with the required requirements, we're going to begin the installation process. So Gaia is already loaded and we're going to select install Gaia on the system. Now we're going to proceed with the installation process. Uh, we're going to set the keyboard and we're going to leave the default for the system root and logs there isn't much to change and we're going to set the password for the admin okay and now we have this new option uh, and it's just set the admin uh, password for maintenance mode the maintenance mode gives you access to only the file system so the network interfaces and the service checkpoint services uh they will be down okay so we're going to set the password for this mode okay and now we'll type the ip address okay so select uh, 20 no gateway and yeah we're going to begin the installation process now i'm going to do the same steps on the gateway we have the same options as we did for the management server so this stage it's all the same we need to set the password password and it's small While creating the gateway VM, make sure to add one additional interface at the minimum. Otherwise, you won't be able to install the policies uh, after adding the gateway to be managed by the server. So we're going to choose the ETH0 as the management interface and IP will be 21 to remove the gateway and proceed with the installation and the installation is completed for the security management server so we're going to press enter to reboot the vm okay so now we're going to continue the installation using the first time configuration wizard and we have to access gaia using the browser and we're going to accept the warning and continue 
and to log in uh we'll be using the credentials we defined previously the that should be the first time configuration wizard for uh the main server so we're going to continue with r81.20 configuration and we're going to leave the faulty interface we're going to change the host name we're going to type sms security management server click on next and we're going to leave the default for the time and we're going to select security gateway or security management server and we're going to deselect uh, security gateway and define the management as primary and we're going to leave this as default uh, this can be managed by any IP address and we're going to begin the configuration process so this should be the same for the gateway okay so we're going to do the same steps we did for the server we're going to click in next to begin the configuration process in the installation we are using it zero as the management interface but we can set the IP for if once going to type 192 faster the slowest and we're going to click next as for the host just going to be gateway and everything else we're going to leave as default for npp and we're going to select security gateway we're going to remove management and leave it as the security gateway and we're not going to select part of a cluster this moment yes we're going to leave no as selected option and we have to set the activation key once we add the gateway on the security management server and yeah we can begin the configuration process okay the first time configuration completed successfully so we're going to press ok to reboot and the security management server process is completed as well and we have the security management server installed and configured so we're currently using the build number 631 so the next step is to download the smart console so if we click download now we see that it's redirecting us to download from the internet so which means that checkpoint it's not including anymore the smart console uh, on the management server installation process so we'll have to download directly from checkpoint so i already did this and i have the software here and we're going to begin the installation process let me minimize this okay here we're going to agree with the uh, license agreement terms and we're going to begin the installation process and the installation is completed so we can launch smart console okay and here we'll type the username the admin type the password and server ip or dot 20 and we're going to log in and we're going to accept the fingerprint proceed and we are inside the smart console r81.20 so we can see here the new release the new features so you can read on your own we're going to close this and we're going to add the gateway now so go to gateways and server and we're going to add uh, the gateway I'm going to select classic mode the name will be gateway ip192.168.43.21 
and we're going to initiate the seek okay and initialize okay and trust is established we're going to press okay so those are the interfaces detected i just want to make sure that they are configured as the internal network and if one as the external interface so we're going to click on topology modify and we're going to set these as the internet interface and we're going to set the secure zone to external zone we're going to leave everything as default and we're going to save these so go back to security policies and we will add some rules let's name this and internet and the source will be uh let's create an object that should and my network four and the ip will be 192.168.43 and the mask will be 24. okay we're going to save this object so the destination will be any the services and application we're going to select any and the action we're going to change to accept and the track to log so just want to see what's going to be like and publish and install so and the changes were published so now we can begin the installation process look at the details that looks very fast at the moment probably because it doesn't have much going on and any finish okay that's it so we have uh the logs and monitor tab uh take some time because it's still loading the service and we have the infinity services that allows you to connect to infinity portal and we can manage the user and smart test settings on this panel uh, but we're not going to dive into this feature at this moment. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, the installation process of Gaia R81.20. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.